Hey guys, my name's Babs Bean and I'm a natural dyer. I'm going to talk you through a really simple nettle dye recipe that you can do at home using kitchen equipment and some locally found nettles. I have on the table uh, a couple of stainless steel bowls, uh, cooking pots and a stainless steel sieve, a pair of scissors, a gardening glove, a stainless steel long-handled a spoon, a couple of kitchen towels, and my basket of nettles. You can see that I've got some silk here that's soaking, and um, I'm going to be working with an organic UK-grown silk, uh, satin silk, which is really beautiful and available to buy in my shop now. And you can see um, it's got a really lustrous quality to it. And here you can see how it looks when it's dyed with nettles. It takes on a really beautiful silvery greeny colour. Uh, just here's my little cup of nettle tea to go with it. So really simply I'm going to chop up the nettles into my mixing bowl. I'm just going to chop it into shreds so it's a bit smaller and there's more surface area for the colour to extract out of the leaf into our water bath. A good tip is to leave your basket of nettles to stand for about an hour after harvesting so that all of the insects and bugs can escape. Pour boiling water over your chopped nettle leaves to cover it. This is going to activate the dye extraction process. Then you'll just leave it overnight to um, fully extract, so about 8 to 12 hours. Come back the next day and it'll look something like this. You can see that the water's now taken on a lot of the colour from the nettles and if I put my spoon in there it disappears. So that's a good indication of the amount of pigments in there. What needs to happen next is removing the plant material so I'm just going to simply sieve it out into my cooking pot. So now I've got my dye bath, I just need to put my fibre into it. So I'm going to put my silk that's pre-wetted into the pot. And it's good to give it a good ring just to get rid of any excess water. So just like this. I like to feed the cloth into the dye pot vertically just to reduce the amount of air bubbles that get trapped in there and you can tease out the air bubbles as you go. When it heats it will naturally create more air bubbles so just keep teasing them out. Um, once you've got your cloth in if it's a plant fibre, you're going to bring it up to a boil and um, boil it for 30 to 60 minutes. If it's an animal fibre, like a silk or wool, just bring it up to a simmer so you don't damage it, and again for 30 to 60 minutes. So once you finish heating, just let your um, pot cool down. Leave it overnight to fully saturate and deepen in colour. Then you can take it out. And you're going to give it a rinse. And, uh, and then wash with a pH neutral soap like Dr. Bronner's Baby Mild and give it another rinse and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. 
If you would like to learn more about natural dyeing, you can find my book on my website, botanicallinks.com, along with the organic UK grown silk, which is £36 a metre, also available by the half metre. Thanks for watching.